Wednesday morning. Got a new trailer gate. The new trailer gate makes me happy. Big time happy. So we got uh, plenty of grass to go mow. Plenty, plenty of grass to go mow. We're gonna hit up uh, three big properties today. Peace. Oh wow, that's scary looking. Oh wait, there's a tree in there. Oh wait, this is my house. Ah. Oh. That explains everything. I'm too busy at everybody else's properties to uh <laughs> get this taken care of. Look at that. It's a little embarrassing, but we'll clean it up soon. <laughs> it's a rental house, guys. I don't own it. It's a rental house. Nice sunshiny day. Everybody ready to roll? All loaded up. Here comes the man. Boom. There he is. Yeah. So look. We'll look at the rest of it later. Mm, it's a pretty gate now. Beautiful gate now. Let's get the show on the road, boys. Let's do it. Big properties today. Well, ha, look at that. That is beautiful. The gate. You guys, go back to that video I just posted on uh, when I was fixing that belt. And check out the gate I was standing on. I was falling in holes and everything. Look, man, my boy Mark. Woo! That thing brand new. Hooked it up. Gave it a new paint job. Gave it some uh, extra support. In between the originals, because the originals only had this was open, open. Gave me some extra support, man. Beautiful stuff, Mark. Well done. Andy put a paint job on it, sealed it. We are on location. Beautiful, beautiful location. You guys love it. I love it. We're at the log home. All that scenery. Tell you what, I don't have very many properties that I do not enjoy cutting on my route. Obviously, you know the small ones I do not enjoy. That's okay. We're not cutting the small ones this week. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. And uh, yeah, the girls are ready to roll. Turf Tiger 2. Oh, excuse me. Freedom Z, I wasn't looking. Freedom Z, Turf Tiger. Ready to eat some grass. We, uh, special request on this property, uh, probably two months ago to cut it extremely short because I happened to run over a copperhead. It was about that big around, pretty large copperhead. Uh, so we keep it nice and short now, always three and a quarter, three in the back. So, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Boys, if you haven't seen the video of the transformation of this log home and what we did when we trained the bushes on this place, be sure to go back and check it all out. It's incredible to see the difference. And also just to see how you can take something huge and overgrown and shape it down to what you want it to be. And then very shortly thereafter, a few weeks, it'll grow into the shape with some nice fresh foliage. In today's video, we're gonna go over pretty much how I managed my three main crew on these properties to make it efficient. Everybody finishes up at the same time. 
certain things need to get done first. Certain things need to be done last. Everybody has a role and responsibility. We talk about this stuff in the truck as we pull in. You gotta get their attention, make them listen. And 99% of the time, everything goes smooth. Alright, so if you're curious on how we split these properties up with three guys in a truck, because I know lots of times that's not the most efficient ways. I get that, I understand that completely. Um, on this big property here, the law of home that we just cut, uh, I had the Freedom Z cut this big section here. First, straight lines, and then diagonals. And while he was doing that, I went around the fence lines. Inside and outside, it's just better that way if I do it. I get a little bit closer than Ian would. Um, so he was cutting that big field. I was doing the fence lines inside and out. And while he was double cutting this big field, I was in the backyard hitting that slope and the back section. And by the time I got done with that and he was done with his section, he had already single cut this one field, started, started single cutting that one field. And uh, we tag teamed that field together. So that was the plan from the start. It worked out perfect. My man Dalton just got back to the truck from his duties on this job. And uh, everybody finished up within two minutes of each other. Okay. So I hope that helps you out. I hope it does. If you already know that stuff, then I'm glad you do. It makes life easier. Off to the next one. All right. We are uh, <laughs> at our second stop. It's 1 o'clock. What did the real field just say, Dalton? 107 or something. 107 degree real field. <laughs> On a property that has one tree right up against the house. So we're jumping on the desert. But uh, at least this desert hasn't been cut in two weeks because it's a uh, two week account because it has construction grass. You know, it has not been in existence very long. So it doesn't grow very fast, not very thick. You guys have seen this property before. And this happens to be, I think this is our next landscape job that we're gonna tackle. And that's trimming the bushes that you're gonna see and uh, putting the fabric and the rocks down. Yeah, all the beds get fabric and decorative stone. So, I don't know how these guys feel about getting out in the heat. I've gotten out twice, and I've gotten back in the truck. <laughs> and that tells you anything. I've gotten out twice. I got the mowers off the trailer. Got back in the truck for a minute or two. And, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think we're going to lay a different stripe pattern, too. Because I'm tired of these old stripes. Yeah. Roasting. Got some pretty clouds, though. But uh, we are gonna hit this up. Big corner lot. The skags are ready to eat some grass. So uh, let's do it. All right, we're gonna go to this property and show you the new stripe pattern that we laid down. You see Ian blowing off right here. Gotta make sure all the mowing and weeding that's around anything to be blown off gets done first. That way whoever finishes first starts blowing. All right, you don't wanna be Having someone sitting there waiting on you to finish cutting when you know you're gonna make a mess on the sidewalk or driveway, 
weed eating when you know you're going to make a mess. You know, get that touch on first so that people can blow and not have to worry about you coming back over it. This little new cut we did here. I have Dalton finishing it up. And he's over here on the, the side corner piece. I shaped up the front of the house because to me that really matters. It's got to be perfect. And I started it out at the back of the house so he could easily follow the pattern that we wanted to do. I simply lined it up with the straight corner of the house and started a new stripe. It wasn't hard. And look, Ian was done blowing, I was done, and Don was done all at the same time. Well, now the reel feels 102. So, it's cooling off, boys. <laughs> cooling off a little bit. Nah. It's nap time. 3.45. Everybody just filled their stomachs with lunch. Feels like nap time. But it's not. <laughs> We're at the farm. Good old farm. Beautiful views. But wow, a lot of grass. Anyways, see what we can get for you guys, okay? Nothing to talk about right now. Nice, smooth flowing day. All right, 4.43. We have, um, a lot of grass left to mow, but we have knocked out a lot. So, just take a little breakage at the uh, oasis. <laughs> the truck cooler full of ice water. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna head over here across the field to a different field. property, Ian mows this large field to my left, out there to the left, while I mow this house park, front and back, and the teardrop. He finished up, same time I finished up. His single cut, my double cut. Now today I had him double cut that large field, which gave me time to come over here and start cutting his section a little bit, the sections that matter most stuff that everybody sees, you know, these guys are in training, so I gotta make sure that, you know, the appearance is first, I gotta be able to split it up to where the stripes people see most are gonna be mine, it's just the way it is, so he does that field, he goes over here, after he finishes his double cut, and he starts double cutting the side on the right, Dalton weeds the whole thing, and then blows off everything, while I'm cutting this, he's my left over there, Double cutting that. I cut this whole field here by myself, double cut. Ian takes a little five minute break. We cut the pond together, and we're done. All at the same time. Seven o'clock, boys. We rocked this place out from 4.15 to seven. Two mowers, one weed. Not too bad, man. We'll take it. We Anyways. gotta drive home, get some coffee. <laughs> coffee time. You know it.